everyone so today I wanted to talk to you guys about buying a hedgehog where you should buy one from and sort of how you go about finding your ideal hedgehog so um, without further ado let's just jump right into it so there are really four places that you can get hedgehogs you can get them from breeders rescues somewhere like Craigslist or you know Facebook rehoming things like that or pet stores. Now I'll go over the merits of each of those in a little bit, um, but just know that those are generally your four options. Now starting with breeders, you really want to go with a reputable breeder. Not every breeder is created equal. Not every breeder you want to go to. Some are breeder mills. Some don't take very good care of their hedgehogs. Some of them are backyard breeders. So with that being said, you're probably wondering how do I know how do I know if the person I'm going to can be trusted well honestly it's kind of hard to know so your best bet is to go on one of the many hedgehog Facebook groups um, some of the bigger ones especially like hedgehogs happening or hedgehog happenings and hedgehogs anonymous they have a very big um, group behind them with lots of opinions on breeders and um, they can sort of steer you in the right direction or steer you away from the wrong direction. I won't give any names of really bad breeders but you will probably get some in those groups um, because there are quite a few very large mills that are very popular um, and things like that. So, so Asking the opinions of the hedgehog community is a really great way to um, sort of weed out the good and the bad when it comes to breeders. So let's talk about rescues. Rescuing is a great thing to do with pretty much any animal. Um, it's really great to rehome animals that need homes, that are stuck in rescues or in humane societies or things like that. Um, it's a really great option. It's not always recommended um, to be your first option if it is your very first hedgehog, but that's totally up to you guys whether you want to do that or not. Um, some of the best ways to find hedgehogs in rescue situations would be to check with your local humane society. Some of them do actually take hedgehogs and small animals. Some of them don't. It'll depend on the area. And then the big way to find rescues in your area would actually be to contact the Hedgehog Welfare Society. Now the Hedgehog Welfare Society has rescue stations all over the United States and probably in other countries as well you'd have to contact them about that obviously I'm in the US so I know about the situation in the US I don't know so much outside of it um, I know Canada has a few stations and things like that they can point you in the direction of any hedgehog that may possibly be in need in your area now touching on rescuing there is another way to get hedgehogs that are considered rescues a lot of the time or rehomes and that would be Craigslist or similar outlets such as um, yard sale groups and things like that. Craigslist is a viable option if you're willing to sort of take the risk with it. Just know that if you're getting a hedgehog off of Craigslist, you are bound to run into medical issues with that hedgehog if it comes from a less than desirable situation which is often the case um, so you may want to make sure that you have extra money set aside for vet care and pos possible issues that may arise touching on even rescuing from the hedgehog welfare society rescuing a hedgehog means you have no idea of their past or their breeding history or their genetics which means you are possibly adopting a hedgehog that could become terminally ill in the future with things like cancer or wobbly hedgehog syndrome which reputable breeders often try to breed um, out of their lines but without getting one from a reputable breeder you you may run into those issue, issues in the future if that's something that you're not overly concerned about or something you're willing to um, sort of combat in the future, then uh, 
of course Craigslist and things like that are viable options for you and the last option I want to touch on is a pet store now I really do not suggest pet stores and the main reason is Pet stores often don't treat their animals correctly. They often come from breeder mills. And by purchasing from the pet store, you are actually supporting that business. Your choice to adopt from a pet store is, of course, your own. There are some risks that come associated with it, like not knowing their genetics. It's the same as if you rescue. Um, hedgehogs from pet stores are often overpriced and you will often be getting incorrect information with them. If you adopt a female, there is oftentimes the chance that she will be pregnant so most females from pet stores have to be put on pregnancy watch um, depending on the pet store you really have to with both rescues and Craigslist and well if you're going to a reputable rescue you will be getting a as healthy as possible properly sexed properly you know taken care of hedgehog by the time you get it from the rescue if you go with a pet store or a um, sort of Craigslist find, you are running the risk of having other issues arise. Now, whether or not you want to deal with that is up to you. Um, I can't honestly tell you uh, which, you know, what decision to make. You just, you take the knowledge of each of those situations and um, make a decision for yourself as to where you would like to get your hedgehog from. Um, obviously both of my boys are from breeders. They are from a breeder in Dayton, um, which is about an hour away from me, an hour and a half. No, about an hour. So those are the main four options for purchasing a hedgehog or adopting a hedgehog. Please make sure you do all your research you possibly can. And if you do end up going with a Craigslist find, make sure that you're not going alone to pick up the hedgehog and that you are not putting yourself in a dangerous situation because Craigslist can be very iffy. Same with um, yard sale groups and things like that. So I think that's everything that I had to say. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below and I will try and answer them as quickly as possible. Hopefully this was helpful and uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. So uh, bye.